Evening chaps, welcome back to Drop to Pollock Fishing. We're off to Hornsey today for a spot of beach fishing. Hope you enjoy. When we got there we started off with a bacon and egg sandwich from the shop that's uh, just by the car park. That will bang on. Can't complain at all. Looked after us. Nice uh, ladies that served us. And we decided to go play in rock pools and my camera promptly fell over, which was just genius. We didn't really find anything in any of pools, but it's always worth a look. We quite like doing that as well, so, you know, because we're a bunch of teenagers at heart. Then we moved on to uh, a spot of digging. So this is me digging here, this is probably one of only two successes that I had. Digging with a fork is hard work, I'm not really up for that. Trudging around, we've got 14,000 steps in for day and we managed to find a whopping five and three quarter worms. Uh, we also found a, a couple of razor clams. Uh, there were a bad storm the night before so we assumed that they got displaced and moved further up the beach. Anyway, we continued, a little bit more digging, bit more digging, not massive, probably not worth it on a day like today, but still, it got us out in fresh air and got us exercising. The guys with the bait pumps that were already on the beach definitely did better than us, so next time we're investing in a bait pump or two. I know it's massively sad, but I was seriously over the moon with this. I spotted a small piece of seaweed that wasn't flowing right. Gone over to it, grabbed it, and realised there's a piece of line on the end. So I started pulling, line's gone tight, so I thought, well, it'll leave a snap on, I'm going to end up sticking a hook in my hand. So, pulled it tight, got Steve to dig. Voila! Managed to pull out a nice weight. There you go. And obviously keeping the beach clean. Probably a snap off. Yeah, nice weight and a rig for me to uh, cannibalise when I get home. Nice one. Good size as well. Um, in the top of my box, and we fly it. Well, you won't fucking take the whole squid head down, you think that? Greasy little fucker. Come on. Yeah, you're not getting the squid now, you'd spat.
throw it in. Oh, you're going to show us, Steve. A 12 inch. It's not. What, you want to keep it? It's slender, isn't it? Yeah, it's got meat on it. Uh, 34 centimetres. A little bit of It's fairly quick because this tide's coming in a lot faster than what we thought. Um, there's four of us at home there. Uh, we're trying to rod the piece, this is probably going to be a mistake and we'll end up down at one rod piece. So, nearest two rods to you, mine, and uh, on the left hand side or the far side. I have the expensive set up and on the right hand side I have the cheapest chip set up so the idea is that anyone can catch on uh, whatever budget you're on so the Sonic on the left I'll go into more detail later um, it goes for about 350 quid for the rod I've got an Akuma 8k on it it's over to about 160 quid and on the right hand side from uh, Go Outdoors, I've got a 16 pound telescopic beach caster. quid for a rod, telescopic, really easy to take everywhere, um, it won't stand a massive fish, but then again, what chance are you catching a massive fish? There's a pen surf caster on there, originally that cost me about 30 quid. We've got four hours until I die, so I'll see if we can get you some footage.
sonic rod. Um, the difference between these two setups is the sonic has a, a grip away on its its breakaway weight, so it's got four metal prongs and it can pull hard if it's launched up or whatever. Um, the metal spikes just fold over and away it comes. Job done. The one on the right just has a lump of lead on, uh, homemade, as cheap as they come. Kind of to show you the difference. Uh, the white tip, the expensive setup, uh, is holding quite firm. If, you, if I do get a bite, it'll just knock. Um, whereas the, the other one, the orange chip, made the cheapest chip setup. The weight's rolling around because there's no grip on the sand. So as soon as you wind in to get tension on your line, it kind of comes towards you or shifts at left, shifts at right. And we'll do so with the rear uh, weight. So we'll see which one comes out better. Sonic, uh, I'm going to wind that in now, uh, get a new bit on, see if we've had any nibbles or not. Bait's gone, hook's all tangled, we'll get it straightened out, new bait, clean sea weighs off, and get it back out. Um, while I'm here, bait sliders that I use, straighten the weight back up. New bait on, get gone.
everything goes out as what I expected, but it's gone fairly smooth, so that's okay. If I carry on getting tangles, I'm going to take off the sliding weight and put the free up the flapper on. Um, my theory is that the weight grips in at one side, at one end, and you're pulling tight, so therefore the hooks can't get tangled. Um, I'll give it another couple of gas. Uh, gas. We've got three hours until top of our time. See how we get on. Finding lots of things, this tide's really come in a lot quicker than what we start before we wouldn't start there, so we're going to start retreating up the wall side of things, hopefully. You're doing great, Steve. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're already breaking near, near there. That's great. Looks like I'm going to be running in a minute. Ah, shit. We've moved all his gear, eight rods, four rests, and a midway again. And I lost my rod. <laughs> I have to check that you put it back. Yeah. <laughs> Right, I don't know if you saw it, um, we've reeled in, we've moved, that had a load of seaweed on again, um, and it's tangled up, so either I ain't doing it right, or the tide's causing it, anything, I don't know, the bait's kind of still there, I don't think it's been eaten by anything, so we're going to try um, a set of mackerel feathers, with uh, four ounce gripper on one end and see how we get on with that. Well, all our lads were getting hungry so it's dinner time, we'll get some burgers on go. We always do a barbecue. Anyone that 
comes with us is always more than welcome to have something to eat on us. As it was, I managed not to burn them this time, unlike the sausages that we had at Sands End. Um, always a good do. We enjoy this bit. The young lad at the back um, joined us. We were having a chat while they were up on top, top part of uh, the wall. He were happy to come down and join us. We always offer if someone's looking, come and join us, have a go. We have spare rods. In fact, use one of mine. I don't mind. He did have a chat with us. Nice guy, happy to have uh, met him. A little bit going about that one. Uh, I had a, a reasonable knock, wound in, feel it knocking on, and then it's gone. At me, uh, mackerel feathers, I think it was third one off because the bait's pretty much demolished. So we'll re, uh, re bait and try again.
We had another gentleman join us, he was from the local area. Uh, nice guy to talk to, thank you very much for stopping. Told us about free parking more, where the other spots were that we could go in area. Thanks very much, appreciated it.